Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. Uh, yeah, we're back in X-Plane, of course, as pretty much always now. And as you can see, we are at a pretty special airport. Maybe you remember this airport from a video in the summer. Yes, this is uh, Andorra Airport, and it also has another name. It's also called, uh, here it is, La Seu du Gel or something. Doesn't really matter. Weird. I mean, this airport airport is actually located in the country of Spain, but it has a French name to it. Why is that? Now, <laughs> whatever. This airport is, as you can obviously tell, just be, it, it's special. This is actually a tabletop airport, or perhaps a tabletop runway as well, which is a very interesting type of airport. And, um, well, not only interesting, but more or less dangerous type of airport. Uh, but more on that later. Now we are here in our New Zealand A320, which is a plane that has, of course, never flown at this airport in, in real life, of course. I mean, this is uh, like a 1,300 meter long runway and again, a tabletop runway. I am very comfortable about flying this plane here anyway. I mean, we tried flying this plane through the whole of New Zealand a few days ago and that was no problem either. Let's go ahead and take off out of here, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. There you go, 120 knots. I think we can already rotate and that was no problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. see, this is a tabletop runway and what tabletop means is, I mean, it's kind of obvious. I like the name tabletop, by the way. Just wanted to mention that. But basically, a tabletop runway is a runway that is located on top of a plateau or a hill um, with both or at least one end of the runway ending with a cliff or like a deep drop or something, which is the case here. I mean, there's this is uh, really located on a mountain on a hill, which has been actually flatted out as well, as you can kind of tell. I mean, this is a flatted mountain and it has a runway that was built on it. And well, the problem here is both runways end with very steep uh, cliffs, actually very steep drops. That's not particularly nice. <laughs> but as you can see, our A320 was taking off out of here really nicely. But that's really not the biggest challenge that you face here at this airport as a pilot. The actual challenge comes when you try to land your plane here. Because uh, that is something very special about tabletop runways. All right, what do we got here? The definition. This type of runway creates an optical illusion of being at the same level as the planes below, which requires a very precise approach by the pilot. Yes, it may or may not not look like this airport is at the same elevation as the uh, village that's down here, for example. I mean, that's just how it looks like from from our perspective in the air. Uh, but that's really not the case, of course, um, which is the main challenge. So let's try getting this A320 landed here, which can be a little bit of a tricky situation, I guess, because uh, this is a mid-sized airliner and this is a small-sized airport. By the way, of course, there are not only small general aviation airports like this one, La Seule du Gel or something, whatever it's called, that have tabletop runways, but there are actually some bigger ones, and that obviously there are some problems with that as well. But let's go ahead and get this plane landed here. That's sold the de, 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 de something. De gel. All right, runway is ahead in our A320. Let's see how well we can do this here with this plane. This approach is very rapid, of course. You don't want to crash into mountains. All right, we're getting a lot of pull-up alerts. That's, you know, usual here. All right, come on. Let's go ahead. Everything is ready here. Let's actually make a smooth landing as well. I kind of feel like doing one. All right, planes call me a retard twice, actually. And uh, we have to get this plane stopped as quickly as possible. 1,000 remaining. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, luckily we did not overrun, which which is a great segue, which is a great segue to a tabletop runway's problems, and that is well, overrun. This is like the last runway that you would want to overrun your plane at. If we were actually to overrun here, then um, we would be trash. Like our plane would be broken. Maybe even we as the pilots would, you know, get harmed here when we actually get down this drop. That's something that has obviously happened before, falling off these tabletop runways, literally. And, well, these accidents can be very quickly, well, fatal, especially for the people sitting in front, or the pilots, because they're obviously the one that crashed into the terrain first. But yeah, this is uh, Endora's tabletop runway, but there are obviously a lot of more tabletop runways all around the world at small or bigger ports. Maybe let's actually try a little bit of a bigger airport that 
has an actual tabletop runway like Vagar Airport. All right, there we go. Vagar Airport is ahead. Actually, when I think about it, this runway is not as long as I remember it to be, but this is still a 2,000 meter long runway, which is why I'm still comfortable flying something even like a 777 here. And this is weird because actually right now, of course, it's winter time and normally there will be snow here at Vagar, but let's go ahead and land our 777 here. And this is also a tabletop runway, actually a very famous one. But before we talk any further, let's do a landing. And while we're at it, let's do a smooth one. All right, that was not particularly smooth. All right, there we go. Now, a touchdown. Let's go ahead and stop, which may or may not be an issue. I mean, we have some runway left. All right, we can hear clapping in the background by the passengers. And we, wow, this is getting very close to the end of the runway, but there we go. We have actually stopped. Uh, now, here we go. We can actually see this is quite a major tabletop runway indeed. And uh, actually, this has a very major drop here. Jeez, you really do not want to overrun because that'll definitely break your plane and essentially you. Oh no, that's really bad. Okay, but this is actually a little bit of a bigger, uh, an actual international airport that has some <laughs> pretty big tabletop capabilities, right? Tabletop capability, that's weird. Uh, but maybe, maybe we can uh, try flying to some other places as well. How about, I haven't flown to Catalina Island in a while. All right, welcome to Catalina Island. And uh, this is uh, a Californian island. We are, we have literally traveled all around the world. Now back in a little bit of a smaller plane and well, <laughs> you know, the, the sub 37 has a lot of stopping performance. So let's go ahead. Now I can definitely see that optical illusion thing, you know? It's really hard to hit the spot properly on the runways here, which is why on the last landings, I was landing very late because I was really not quite sure there was a lot of optical illusions going on indeed. It's a little weird, like landing on like a plane runway that is on a plane surface and all that stuff is a lot easier. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's been a hard landing, but you know, we need to land hard because we need to stop here on this island, Catalina Island. And that was actually no problem. The 737 again stops in no time. But obviously here at this airport, there have also been a lot of accidents. That was a weird way of saying accidents. And well, they can be very fatal very quickly as well. All right, what kind of tabletop runways are they listing here? I mean, obviously that's not all the tabletop runways that there are, because there are actually a lot, lot more tabletop runways on this planet than listed here. Um, uh, is there, they're actually naming Vagar as well. For example, the runway in Spain is not here on this list, but we have got some more to check out. Interestingly enough, India has a lot of uh, tabletop runways, like Calicut Airport, you know, that one in Kerala. And yeah, as you can see here in 3D view, well, there is a lot of tabletop to this runway indeed. I mean, just look at this. Here we go, They're even on the other side as well. Yeah, not the best place to fly. And you know, there has actually been an overrun here on this side of a 737 and then it crashed all the way down, plane completely destroyed, and it wasn't even a fatal uh, crash. And that was actually last year in May. For example, this is something that can easily happen on tabletop runways, even though this runway is very long. I don't, I don't really think that's uh, normal here, but accidents happen and especially overruns. But all right, obviously the king of, or the queen, I don't know, whatever of tabletop runways is, well, it's Saba Airport. Yes, I'm, I'm totally using Wikipedia as a resource here, as always, <laughs> no. Yeah, the good old Dutch island that is owned by the Dutch. And actually this little mountain here is the highest peak of the highest point of the Netherlands. And because the Netherlands is so flat. And it has this airport as well, which is another tabletop runway, you know, so located on a plain surface, but has cliffs very much of cliffs, by the way. And you really do not want to overrun these cliffs, do you? Let's go ahead and like barely overrun them here. Come on. And our 737. Oh no, reverse thrust full on. And oh, that, no, oh, no, no, that's not, that's not overrun enough. We need some more speed and power. There we go. Now we are literally into the water, falling slowly, and that's been a very uncomfortable crash. That is just something that can easily happen here at Stop Airport. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night.